Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Says the Vet, I'm Dr. Says. So to effectively prevent broody behaviour in chickens, you do need to understand why they do it. So this episode is just a really short, almost kind of sound bite about what's actually going on inside those beautiful little brains, okay, to cause that broody behaviour. If you find the video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to comment and ask your own questions, I'll do my best to answer them. So broodiness is when a hen starts nesting. Naturally, they would be laying one egg a day-ish until their genetically determined clutch size, the total amount of eggs that they want before sitting on them. And then when conditions are just right, they'll decide that they want to sit on them and incubate those eggs. Now in commercial systems, broody behavior has mostly been bred out. But in backyard settings, many will still go broody. It comes with its risks, letting her sit on those eggs, so if the eggs are not fertile, most people will try and stop the broody behaviour. The pros and cons of stopping her or allowing her to sit on the nest are discussed in this episode here if you want to catch that one. But ideally, we prevent. Prevent the behaviour from kicking in at all so that those risks on her little body aren't there. So, how does it kick in? What causes her to go broody? Obviously there is a certain level of normal nesting behaviour in hens just to lay their eggs, right? That's normal. When both estrogen and progesterone, the two sex hormones, when they're both high, this can trigger incubation behaviour, wanting to sit persistently on the nest. Now when they brood, they will pluck feathers from the underside so that their warm skin makes contact with the eggs and these are called brood patches and it is the stimulation of feeling the eggs against her brood patches that pumps up the hormone called prolactin, which continues the nesting behavior. Prolactin is in mammals, it's what makes females lactate. It's also a bonding hormone and it, it kind of triggers oxytocin as well, so it's a feel-good bonding hormone. So again, it's the stimulation of those eggs against her belly that pumps up that hormone prolactin to encourage her to continue incubating the eggs. Actually seeing eggs and more so even seeing chicks can increase prolactin as well so she can covet another hen's babies, like just like in humans. <laughs> in other words, having access to a nest and nesting material and being allowed to accumulate those eggs to sit on is what's going to make the broody behaviour really set in. Of course, this perfect concoction of hormones needs the right weather, warm and with shortening day lengths usually, and it is in large part genetic as well. It is a polygenetic uh, trait, meaning that there are multiple genes at play here, so it's not super cut and dry. Um, it's greatly influenced by the environment as, and is all on a bit of a spectrum there, but they will pass it down to their young. But the increase in that hormone prolactin from feeling the nest and those eggs underneath her is why in the early stages, keeping her away from any kind of nest may do the trick, may break the behavior. But when she's well into the swing of it, people will often try and break the behavior by putting her in a barred cage on a perch so that her underside is forced to be exposed to the air and there's no chance of stimulation from a nest or eggs under her. Please don't use ice baths hanging from trees hosing down, all these tactics are completely inhumane and unnecessary. All right, we're gonna leave it there. I hope you've learned something. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the episodes and I'll catch you for the next one. Bye-bye.